Hi guys, in today's video I will be showing you a proof that equals mc squared. So to start, imagine I have an object of mass m and I'm going to accelerate it to some speed v, okay? So first of all, we will start with this equation, which is like a relativistic equation that says the relativistic mass, which means sort of the mass now that it is moving, is equal to m divided by the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared. So what we can do is try to find the total change in mass, which is this minus the original mass. Um, and this will be, if we just simplify a little, m times 1 minus the square square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared divided by the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared. And this will tell us the total amount of mass change I got by making my object go up to the speed v. But on the other hand, we can approximate the energy involved by using Newtonian physics. Um, and so this approximation gives us that the energy of the that the we've added is 1 half mv squared. So what we can do is we can assume that it's like equals mx and then what we're trying to do is solve for x and we will eventually show that x equals c squared and then we'll have an equa our equation but for now we don't know what x is so what we can do is we can write e well we know e equals one half mv squared and then our mass our mass change is equal to this thing from from over here and then times x and remember this is approximation because this side isn't completely valid um, but it will become more at more accurate as v approaches zero because Newton Newtonian physics works better at slower speeds. So what we can do is we can take the limit as v approaches zero and divide uh, by this on this on both sides, the m's cancel out, and we can simplify a little, and we get v squared, the limit as v approaches zero, v squared times the square root of one minus v squared over c squared divided by two minus two times the square root of one minus v squared over c squared. So then what we can do is we realize that this term is just going to approach 1. So we can sort of remove it from the limit. It's, it's just going to be 1. So we get this um, v squared divided by 2 minus 2 times square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared. So now what we can do is we apply the Hopital's rule, which turns the, top, um, the, um, the, the v squared into 2v. And the bottom, uh, this 2 disappears because it's constant. This negative 2 stays. Then we use the chain rule that, to get that this, this part becomes 1 divided by 2 times the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared. And then we have to take the derivative of the inner part, and that gives us negative 2v over c squared. And so we can do a lot of canceling out. These 2s cancel out, these minus signs cancel out, these 2s cancel out, and these v's cancel out. And what we're left with is 1 minus c squared times, or 1 over 1 over c squared times the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared, 1 over 1 over something is just a something. So we get this, and as we approach 0, and this part approaches 1, so this is just c squared. So therefore, our x term is c squared, and we have equals mc squared, which is Einstein's famous equation. Thanks for watching. Bye.